The amplifier is currently in my amp shelf. Let's talk about it. So I recently did a, uh, you know, guitar centric, what's in my guitar rack video. You guys seem to really enjoy that. In that video, I mentioned I should do an amp, uh, amp shelf video. And that is what this is. Now with my amp shelf, I'm limited to basically five spaces. And so the amplifiers are always changing. There's a few mainstays, which we will talk about. However, um, depending on what I'm doing or what I am meeting for, or what I am, you know, demoing or reamping for. So for example, the last two weeks I've been mixing and reamping a ton and not necessarily needing amplifiers for video. So right now I have predominantly mostly, you know, balls out high gain stuff in the shelf. So that's what you will see uh, this time for this amp shelf video. We're just gonna start from the bottom, work our way to the top. Let's get to the amps. So amp number one is the brand new Rev 120 10th anniversary amplifier. This is basically um, a revisiting of, you know, a more raw open circuit that the generators originally had, a little less polish, a little bit more aggressive. Um, I like this amplifier quite a bit more than my generation three uh, generator 100, only because it's less perfect. Right, it's less, it's less polished sounding, especially in, in the upper mids and the top end for me. And I just like the added versatility and the bells and whistles. And Dan just did an absolutely incredible job of the 10th anniversary 120. And uh, I picked this one up uh, at NAMM. And uh, yeah, it's been, it's been in the amp shelf ever since. Uh, I will be making a video for this amplifier when I return from California. And uh, yeah, it's a great amplifier. Amp in my shelf, number two is a newly acquired 1977 Marshall JMP 2204. I have been playing with Marshalls and Marshall circuits and Marshall flavors for quite a while now. And like my main touring tone for most of Dragged Under was a Marshall JVM in the Fractal. Uh, and I just love, I love mixing Marshalls and, and Mesas, you know, the, you know, I'm a rectifier guy and I love mixing different flavors of those brands of amplifiers together when I am reamping and mixing. This particular amplifier is a 2204 50 watt, which uh, maybe some of you nerds will know as the Soundgarden Super Unknown amp that was used in tandem with a Rev F dual rectifier by Chris Cornell and Kim Thale for the Soundgarden record. And this amplifier has been recapped, it's been maintenanced, and it sounds, it sounds bonkers and it sounds so good. I've been looking for a JMP for probably five or more years. I've just, on reverb, you never know what you're absolutely getting with an any amplifier this old. And you know, it's 46 years old. And I happen to find it in Seattle at Thunder Road Guitar. Shout out to my, my homie Frank who had it, he gave me a great deal on it. And yeah, I got to try before I bought. And it was a it was a great experience, and I absolutely love this amplifier.
Amplifier number three that is currently in the shelf is a newly acquired VH2 diesel. I made a separate video about this amplifier and diesels uh, in general. For a long time, I really didn't get, get along with diesels. I just never liked the tones that I myself got out of them. I liked the tones that everyone else got with them, if that makes sense. I just was never able to make one sound like I wanted it. And that changed with the VH2. I think it helped that I just kind of know my way around an amplifier more so than I did maybe 10 years ago. And I have a lot more guitars to try any given amplifier with. And this amplifier is just so harmonically rich and so amazing. And I just, oof, I love this amplifier a lot. Amplifier number four in the amp shelf. Of course, I have to have a rectifier of some sort. I am always changing out which rectifier I'm using for any given time. Uh, currently, it is a KSR modded 1996 Rev G uh, two channel dual rectifier. Probably the best sounding rectifier I own currently. One of my favorite amplifiers I have ever played. Uh, Kyle went absolutely bonkers on modding this amplifier and he made it sound it, it, he made it go from pretty meh sounding to it, it's just it's the go-to for for anything even remotely aggressive it has all the bells and whistles uh he smoothed out uh the gain structure so it's not as fizzy he also was able to add some top end to the orange modern channel and kind of get that working uh, much closer to something like a Rev F. He also added a resonance control in the back, not for turning up low end, but turning down low end, which makes the amp really, really tight, even without a boost. I still use it with a boost and we'll turn the gain down. Um, it just depends on, on the situation, but this amplifier is just a go-to mainstay for me. It has JJ KT 77 uh, power tubes in it and um, just one of my absolute favorites. <laughs> And last but not least, amplifier number five is currently a Mesa Boogie Mark VII, one of my favorite Mesa Boogie amplifiers to come out in the last 25 years easily. The Mark VII just really has it all. And for me, if I am in a situation where I'm not quite getting what I want from any of the other amplifiers, the Mark VII is going to bridge the tonal gap. If let's say the guitar DI that I have is a little crunchier or maybe it's a little dark or a little bright or the DI or the guitar sound that I have to work with is not necessarily something that is working in context with the other amplifiers I have, the Mark VII is going to make it work because of the versatility of the graphic EQ and the various modes. I'm usually always using the Mark IV mode uh, in the Mark VII and or the 2C plus mode. However, on channel two, the Mark VII tone 
is really great as well for like mid game kind of stuff. I love this amplifier. It's just, it's an absolute masterpiece. And uh, yeah, it's just a mainstay in the amp shelf. And there you go, that's what's currently in my amp shelf. Again, this is always changing. I'll probably make another one of these in a few months, but um, from week to week, it's varying pretty widely just depending on what I'm working on and what I'm mixing or demoing or reamping or what have you. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, the, that's the nerdy amps in my amp shelf. Uh, if you liked what you've seen, please consider subscribing down below to further support this channel. And with that, you've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.